so the next story I'm going to really get you with was uh, one of the first sessions that another had for a very good friend of mine whose name is Mike. Blinded by the light. <laughs> no, I'm not a very good singer. <laughs> um, as previously mentioned, my 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 favorite uh, of all time uh, uh, adventure was the Temple of Elemental Evil. And I had just gotten, like, a large quantity of first edition books from a friend of mine. And in it was the original uh, Village of Hamlet module. So, my thoughts were is, I want to run this. And it took some convincing, you know, I got Jordan on board, but my other friend Mike, it took a little bit of convincing, but he eventually, you know, he, he decided he wanted to try his hand at role-playing. My friend, who was DMing, Worked for a while to get me into role playing, so I'm like, eh, why not? I don't have much going on. Stockholm syndrome set in, I guess. So he rolls up. He's kind of pacing through the book, looking for what he wants. And he comes across. He wants to be an elven assassin. I thought, oh, okay, kill stuff sneakily. You know, sneak around and kill things. Fun. He's playing a female elf because reasons. I'm playing a female character for some odd reason. And um, always do. <laughs> I have the, uh, the the level four fighter that's in the town that you're supposed to to, to you know that they can hire to to, to to go with them. Take a liking to him, and 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 um, he convinces him to take him back to his to to his barn, where in the module it has written he's got you know a suit of armor and an axe, you know, bearing. I think the character's flirting with me and wants me to go to this barn to do whatever, so I'm like, maybe I can take advantage of the situation. So, he's like, oh, I'm going to show you this. That was dark. <laughs> 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 well, this is an assassin, you know. <laughs> it's kind of what I figured I was going to be doing with this character. So he digs up the secret stash, and, and my friend that's playing the assassin's like, you know what? I stab him from behind. Now, what he didn't know this at the time because he was still new to role playing, but um, assassins still had their 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 death attack ability, where their first sneak attack of the day is considered a death attack, and you make a small roll, and success of that roll means you instantly killed the target. He instantly killed the target, and I'm like. Okay, just killed this guy. What am I going to do with the body? Kind of look around. Oh, I'm going to stuff him in a box. <laughs> in his own box. Fold his body up, put it in this, like, secret case he had buried, and then rebury it. While taking the guy's axe and armor. And, you know, the, the module continues, continued on as normal. Eventually, they, they, they make their way to the moat house. And I was honestly surprised. They made it past the frogs. I honestly thought the frogs were going to kill him because, I mean, anyway, that, that knows that adventure, who hasn't lost a character to those frogs? So they make their way into the moat house and they're kind of exploring. When they decide they're going to investigate the tower. So they go in the tower and, um, of course, the ranger gets stuck in the webs because this place is just filled with webs. And of course, he gets attacked by the spiders in the webs. Um, the thief comes in, looks around, notices the spider webs. I make, I make a few rolls. He doesn't get stuck in the webs. So what does he do? He throws a torch in a tower that is completely covered in spider webs. We fight a giant spider, escape with our lives. And they're just kind of sitting there like, well, that was quite the adventure. I'm sitting there like, Take two damage. Take one damage. Take three damage. Figure out that we're still on fire. <laughs> you think you'd notice while you were still taking damage, but... I put myself out first because he's unconscious. <laughs> and then I put him out. <laughs> he was unconscious, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, he was. He was out. <laughs> Rest for the night, they drink some healing potions, you know, and kind of, you know, get back up to full fighting strength. And then brave the moat house itself. They bravely go inside and kill the various creatures that they can on the first level until they get to the last room of the first level where a giant tick comes down and attacks them. The giant tick jumps out, 
latches on to uh, the ranger. Starts draining him, draining him, draining him. The assassin's over there. Can't hit it. Can't hit it. Can't hit the it. The bard, as OP as the bard is, can't hit it. Can't hit it. Can't hit it. Can't hit it. The ranger fails his saving throw. Fails his saving throw. Fails his saving throw. The trick, the tick drains him dry. Then, um, the tick, still hungry because I didn't realize that, that they were supposed to stop after they drained so much constitution from you, but whatever. It's my campaign. Tick was still hungry. He jumps, rolls, nat 20, latches onto the bard. The thief can't hit it. Can't hit it. Can't hit it. Can't hit it. The bard fails to save. Fails to save. Fails to save. Fails to save. Bard's dead. What does this hungry tick do? The assassin. Jumps up. Another nat 20. Latches onto the assassin. Fails to save. Fails to save. Fails to save. Assassin's dead. Tick rules the world. Even though my character died horribly, it got me into something that we now do on a weekly basis. That's true. You know, not as not as off the rails and crazy as my other ones, you know, but, you know, still, still an enjoyable tale, I thought, nonetheless. This has been Dean Remembers, and, um... Um... I'll, uh... I'll see you with your name over your head. Now, do you want to be DM Remembers or DM Recalls? Eh, uh, Recalls, Remembers. You can, you, can, yeah, you, can, you can fix it in post. <laughs> There's only so much I can do, man. There's only so much. Mm, taco. But I have confidence in you.